Obviously, they're a great team. Pitcher needs an unbelievable job establishing his culture over the last 15, 15 years. And, uh, you know, I, I love our team. I love our team. I love what our team's going to become. You know, today you couldn't see how great our team is. You know, we've got some moments within the, within the, uh, the chaos there where I felt we were really, really good. Um, I just really believe in the guys we have on our team, the guys we have on our roster. And uh, I believe we're going to take this as a learning opportunity as we have all year long. And our response is going to be special. Questions for our coach. Coach, do you think the four overtime game against Davidson could have had any impact in terms of fatigue? You know, I don't think so. I mean, I think the guys were obviously riding a pretty good high off of that. I just think we ran into a really good Richmond team today. Yeah, Richmond team had maybe an extra day of rest or so in there, but I don't think so. I, mean, I think our guys really played well on Saturday games all year long. Um, you know, we played a lot of guys today, so we gave a lot of guys opportunity. I just think Richmond was a lot better on Saturday. Uh, Richmond had a 14-point run in the first half. What kind of allowed them to build that lead? We just weren't taking care of the ball. Um, you know, we had we had 12, 13 turnovers in the first half. Uh, we've been one of the best teams in the country taking care of the ball um, through the course of the season. So that was a little bit surprising for us. We've just done a great job all year long at getting shots every time down the floor. And you know, for whatever reason today against Richmond, we just didn't feel like we didn't move the ball the way we have been in the past. Um, you know, and we're a team that has to move the ball. You know, a lot of these teams have great, you know, one or two guys that are so 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 good that they can maybe isolate through that. That's not the kind of team that we are. We're a team that has to move the ball and keep the ball moving. And, and we just didn't do that, do that great in the first half. And you know, when you turn the ball over against good teams, you're going to turn those into points quickly, and that's what Richmond did. Do you think that's what contributed to only four free throw attempts today? Because that's rather low. Um, you know, we just weren't being tough with the ball in there. Um, you know, they were a little bit tougher. Drew, Drew, you know, both our teams don't foul a lot. Um, our free throw rate is actually a little bit higher than theirs. Um, but, you know, a lot of that is on Mel being able to get in the front of the rim. He's one of the highest guys in the country to get to the front of the rim. So, you know, just us learning our team, um, you know, obviously without him, the team changed a little bit. I think it can be, I think it can be as good or better. Um, about, I believe in the guys in that, in that locker room. We just got to do a great job as a coaching staff and try to figure out a way to get us to the free throw line more and the, the use of talents that we do have. Uh, Richmond had 60 points in the paint. Uh, what could the team have done differently to kind of make some more stops down low? Well, you know, they're a great three-point shooting team. They're one of the best three-point shooting teams in our league. So we really want to do a great job defending the three. I think we looked at both the percentages of the threes and the twos. I thought our defense was really the problem tonight. You know, you take out those turnovers, those easy baskets we were able to give them. It was really our offense, our ability to move the ball. I mean, our 5 of 22 from three uh, is more glaring to me because we're, we're, we're the second best three-point. We're actually the best percentage-wise coming to the game. Three-point shooting team in the league. I think it might be second or one or two bouncing back and forth. Um, you know, our inability to really get going from outside, um, you know, really slowed us down today, and, and that's something that we, that we rely on. You know, we take a lot of threes, we're half our shots we have from three. Um, we defended their threes really well, um, but, you know, I think percentage-wise defense, I think our defense was pretty good tonight. Uh, it was really our offense that really, really hurt us. Coach, any thoughts on Jameer's dunk attempt? Yeah, I mean, you know, I always say, you know, you should dunk it with two hands. You know, myself, I was a high flyer myself, so, you know, <laughs> I think if you want to make it look great, you dunk it with two. Um, you know, but we just trust him. You know, those are things that you go through as a player. And, and uh, you know, it was, a, it was a pretty key point in the game. Um, but, you know, we trust him to make the right decision. And he just came up a little bit short there. And, uh, you know, he's going to hold himself highly accountable to that and, and uh, you know, demand better, better for himself. What does the team want to take away from uh, this game heading into St. Bonaventure? Um, just we got to play tougher, just to be a tougher team and mentally and physically and, and be able to let things in the past go. Um, I, I think we take that from it. You know, we've done a great job of learning all year long. We're going we're gonna to cut the film off and look at it. And um, These guys will be jumping in the office. They'll be trying to watch film tomorrow and Monday to, to get better. They'll be asking for film tonight. Um, so we just do a great job helping these guys learn. I mean, we got a great opportunity here um, to learn from our mistakes. And that, that's what we've done all year long. That's what we've been able to, to – battle and play well and then improve because we're great at learning from our mistakes. That doesn't change us at all. Um, I'm not worried about the result of this. Whether you lose this game by one or by 20, you know, it's all irrelevant. It's a, it's a win or a loss. So, you know, if we continue to do a great job, a great job of helping our team learn and just trying to keep improving, that's all it's all about right now. And, uh, you know, we'll take this opportunity to do a great job today. Any other questions, Coach? Thank you.